uh, go for a ride and I'm gonna drive it's it's just been with these point of view drives it's just been French cars the entire time because that's what we didn't get when we were out here and uh, did I close this all the way no you did not okay Put it up front. but I do have seat belts but it's the first seat belt where the pillar is in front of me so how far am I gonna go before this thing latches in the steering wheel is slightly off to my left um did this window, does it go down? Uh, it doesn't go down, it goes up. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, what's holding it up? A little latch on the top right there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Huh. Okay. That's a window. Huh. All right, so what do I need to know before starting it? Oh, uh, nothing really. It's warm at the moment, so. All right. Normal car. Yeah. Let me let me re make sure I know what I'm doing here. That's neutral. Yeah, there's a diagram. First, second, straight back third, up over there fourth. That's right. Uh, reverse, like that. Yep. Which we'll be using right away. So I don't need choke, it's already warmed up. You drove it here. Uh, do I have to hold it, the crank? Uh, yeah, yeah, you might want to give it a dab of as well, see, while you're starting it. Okay. That's right. Let go. All right. All right. That's it. Two cylinders, four speeds. 600 cc. So it's uh, like a Japanese K car. Yeah. Um, the gear shift just kind of wobbles right there. <laughs> you can drop the window if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Reverse down like that. Yep. Now where's how's this thing gonna grab? Oh, pretty nice. Oh, it grabs it right away. The clutch very, very, very light. Steering super easy. Not power steering, and I'm just one-handing it. Yeah. All righty. And pulling away. Up, oh, up. Oh. Okay, it's bouncy and it's floaty, and the ground feels farther away than what I think it is. I'm gonna go for a little bit of headlights here, just to be safe. And that's uh, second gear. Yep. I guess you could just kind of listen to the engine, yeah. decide what it's going to be do. I don't know where a red line would be with something like this. Uh, you know, your red line's marked to your speed over there. Oh, really? So there's your first red line, first gear, second gear, third gear. Okay. Well, Lee, I'm glad you're here as ballast. <laughs> so is this, this is your first two CB or your second? This is my second one. Yeah. What, why? Um, I mean, I sold the first one after I had it for about a year. Uh-huh. Uh, and I missed it. After about a month, I decided I was bored without it. I had a, um, a Lancia, uh -huh. 1971 Lancia, um, which was also fun, but more expensive to keep up and just kind of didn't work as well. Uh-huh. Uh, and this was just more practical, so I just went back to it. Uh -huh. I'm not going to sell this one, I don't think. Okay. Coming down to going back down in the second. The car doesn't track exactly true. It tends to pull to the right a little bit. Maybe I'll go for a little first gear. My foot is on the floor and we just hit 20. I think I need to just keep it in second for this rise. Yeah. I can see what Chris Harris was talking about. It is entertaining at just creeping along. Yeah. I mean, you can drive it like a race car, you'll never get in trouble. So. <laughs> 
And how long have you had this? A year and a half. This one. And you daily this thing at school. Yeah. What do your friends think? Uh, slightly nuts. Um, yeah. Uh, they love it, but then they sort of, sort of laugh at me when I try to convince them to get something similar. Uh huh. So they, I, I know what they really think of it. But is this your? When you say this is your second two CB, did you have normal cars before this, or more no. modern cars? No, no, no. no. Two CB was my first car. Wow. Um, but no one in my family had ever owned classic cars, so I know what I know what modern cars are like too. And, uh huh. Uh, this, this experience was new to me when I was new to driving. And okay, like second, will it pull away in second? Uh, uh, first. <laughs> first gear, <laughs> all the way up, and second. Hey, that, you know, for a weird shaped gearbox, that makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. Especially this push pull between second and third, yeah, it's nice and having it be, you know, dog like. What was that squeak? Um, I'm not sure. It makes a lot of squeaks. It's getting quite hot in here, so I could, uh, oh, ah, oh, take that Miata, you, you think you're so fast, oh, that's, that was, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's stage one of them, it goes all the way to the back, if you want to get out and pull it up, that's just fine, I think we'll keep it like that. No one's really looking at us though, unless the, 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 the golfers are uh, just sort of doing their own thing here. A little bit of first uh, no, gear. No one wants to indulge us. Really? No, in a, in a car like this, people expect you want to be looked at, so they don't really want to give it to you. <laughs> really? No. How, how British? Yeah. Like when I drive the Falcon, it's everybody looks at you and everybody wants to talk to you. You get that too. It's, it's a combination tractor car. Yeah. Now, I, 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 we, we know the stories of the egg, uh, the basket of eggs and the plowed field and French and everything, but I don't think the, the real experience lives up to that. It, it, like when we were going up this hill, it felt dangerously overpowered. <laughs> or overpowered, <laughs> I mean underpowered. <laughs> But it takes those bumps, or the, the, the speed bumps there, much better than like a classic American car would. That, which would either, well maybe we should go for a little bit of windshield wiper here. Oh, hey, electric. Yeah. One speed. Oh yeah. Yeah. Don't push it back to the middle and turn it off. Okay. Yeah. And it, it's, it's like a YJ Jeep in that your windshield wipers rest up. They don't go all the way down. Yeah, you get used to that. Okay, I think we can actually take four top gear. Uh, I don't nah, know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Fourth, you know, until about 40. You know, the most remarkable thing about this is how easy this gear shift is. For a car that was, well, that's a bit too high. Uh, it doesn't fight any gear. It clunks a little bit in first, but that's it. And, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, boy. There is a guy right behind us. I hope, uh, well, he, he's driving a, a, a Renault, so maybe there's some kindred spirits right there, or maybe he thinks, who are these crazies? <laughs> How do people react to you as you drive this around school, around uni, university? I, mean, I, I kind of don't notice anymore. It's when I have um, friends in the car that they sort of look around and go, those people are loving it, those people are laughing around. <laughs> um, some, pe some, people, some people love it, some people think, uh, oh my god, I feel sorry for it. <laughs> Uh, tight, corner. Car, yeah. tight corner, tight oh, corner. Whoa. And third. I mean, when you daily drive a car like this, you stop noticing that people are looking at you all day long. Yeah. But... This is a lot of fun, and I kind of don't want to get out of this. I just want to drive that a few more times. But, uh... The first gear and the steering is so light, I don't need to manhandle it. This is tons of fun, but how do you deal with traffic? I mean, it does it. Yeah? Just. Yeah. You are taking us on the motorway. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. 
Okay, we've got how much horsepower? 30. 30. About 29. 29. And we've increased the weight of the car by at least 300 pounds. Uh, are you at nearly redline in every gear? How much, like, we're only going one exit, right? Sorry? We're only going one exit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is very loud in here. And, uh, yeah, I think a slow lane is where we belong. We are doing an indicated, uh, about 53 miles an hour right there and uh, what's interesting is that there's no separation between my feet and the drivers so if you have a passenger who's like dancing around here they could accidentally reach over and hit the clutch because well there's no transmission tunnel so the floor is a uh, Knock on wood. Is there any wood here? No, there isn't, but there is a canvas roof that I don't know if you can see this, but it is flapping in the wind as we go along. And now uh, we get to go in whatever this is, roundabout or who knows what. Are we taking the motorway back? Yeah. All right. This is the great English invention of the roundabout. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> And I guess we're getting heat. It's getting hot in here. Should I, I turn think, that? Yeah, you want to pull that all the way, the way over there. You can see yeah. daylight through the door. Where the door should be. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I can feel the heat coming out of there and the heat look turned on at some point. Alright. All right. So open up our flap. Okay, we've got a little flap down here that's open that's going to bring an air in. So now we're in fourth gear. Yep. Everything she's got. Is your foot buried on the floor? Oh, yeah. All the way down there. Well, now we're taking about 55. We got the tailwind now, that makes a difference. Oh! Yeah. There is a lot of noise coming in through around the window. Well, nothing that the Falcon doesn't do, but the difference is there is the wiring harness, for everything for the back of the car uh, traveling along the inside. We're doing 60 now. Oh boy! I hope this sounds good to you guys because it is a, it's a symphony of noise in here. Is it possible to over rev the engine in uh, fourth gear? No. Okay. I mean, I've, I've been downhill and done about 80 miles an hour. You're kidding. Yeah, it's on serious downhill. Yeah, do it. <laughs> um, I'm worried about the engine then, but it's been fine. Okay, we're, we're, we're safe back on uh, B roads or whatever these things are. So uh, thank you so much for watching this rather, uh, in very intense for lean, <laughs> cars leaning, very intense ride as uh, we took a two CV down the motorway.